Hey guys, and welcome to The Celebrity Expert, your number one source for all things TV shows and movies. And over the years, a lot of fans have really focused in on some newer characters in the MCU who have quickly become fan favorites. And while these actors, of course, haven't been around since day one of the MCU, they definitely have earned their spot as great talent who play iconic characters along the way. However, it's really interesting to see how some fans have picked up on some subtle things that have been said in interviews and other types of press junkets along the way and then just ran with them afterwards. But over the years, fans have noticed that both Elizabeth Olsen, who plays in WandaVision as Wanda Maximoff or the Scarlet Witch, and Tom Holland, who plays Spider-Man, have both equally praised each other on various occasions, whether it's their acting abilities or just who they are as a person, and it seems like they have a really good working relationship and friendship, and it's funny to see how some of these moments can come across as maybe some more flirtatious type of interactions. This has caused a section of the internet to ship Tom Holland and Elizabeth Olsen together, kind of as a interesting flirtation ship. So we wanted to look at some of the funniest moments where this stuff has been really prominent so you can get an idea of why some fans are calling for this shipping. Things started back early on when Tom Holland was joining up the MCU for the first time and he got a question from a fan which was, which love interest out of all of the characters in the MCU would he choose if he was given the option to write the story? If you could pick any love interest from the Marvel Universe for Spider-Man, who would it be? I think Scarlet Witch is pretty hot, you know? I think Elizabeth Olsen is super hot. And really nice as well, she was really nice to me in the premiere. So yeah, probably, probably Scarlet Witch. But then on the flip side of things, at Ace Comic Con, a fan asked Elizabeth Olsen which actor from the MCU she would like to work alongside, or which character she would like to appear alongside in a future movie, and her answer definitely did get fans really excited because there was just a ton of hype about Spider-Man joining the MCU at that time, and it was really interesting to see. Um, I kind of want to play with Spider-Man. Right? And he's really funny. I think Holland's killing it. I think he's so, so funny. And his timing is on top of We've also seen Tom Holland on multiple occasions praise the television series WandaVision and whether he's talking about when the show first showed off some trailers and people were just speculating what was going on, he was pretty excited about it. And then when the show started airing, he even talked about how he was obsessed with the show WandaVision. I think the WandaVision show looks really cool. I don't really know what it's about and it looks very stylistic. It almost looks like a bit of a sitcom the way they've shot it. I don't really understand what is going on, but I know that it looks really cool. Paul and Elizabeth are like two of the nicest people I know and I would love to work with them some more and get to know them a little bit better. So if I could put Spider-Man in the WandaVision show, that'd be great, Kevin Feige. So if you want to do that, However, when we're still trying to pinpoint where all of this shipping rumors or all of the flirtation ship rumors started to come from, there are some interesting moments that came up a little while back where Elizabeth Olsen was questioned about Spider-Man and his purpose in the MCU moving forward, specifically when it looked like it was uncertain as to whether or not we would see Tom Holland continuing to play Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe because of the main disagreements between Disney and Sony when they were trying to come together to a deal, which later on was resolved, but it definitely seems like things got interestingly out of hand when Elizabeth Olsen was unknowing to a lot of the debates and talks online about whether or not Tom Holland would be fully reprising his role as Spider-Man in the MCU into the future, and on the flip side, she had taken a picture and posted it online, and it seemed like a lot of fans ended up running with it, thinking it was something completely different. And it was so gnarly looking and he had eaten so many bees and it was just like raining and wind and his web was not coming down. And I put it online and apparently it was the same day that they announced that Tom Holland was coming back to the MCU. Right, so Spider-Man yeah. was coming back. And everyone thought I did this like, <laughs> this like huge like welcome back to Tom Holland. <laughs> it's really interesting that just the idea of taking a picture and posting it online ended up causing this huge fervorous movement online where fans thought that Elizabeth Olsen was jumping on board, joining the conversation and trying to voice her support for Tom Holland as Spider-Man. 
Spider-Man, which is interesting just because in general, Elizabeth Olsen doesn't really follow a lot of the rumors and that type of talk in the MCU or casting stuff along the way. And it does seem like a really unique situation to see Elizabeth Olsen using her social media to peddle and promote Tom Holland returning to the Marvel Cinematic Universe by posting an image of a spider. However, with all of the things that went out of hand and how people misinterpreted it, it is really funny to look back now at how Elizabeth Olsen perceived her side of things when she posted the image. I can't, I can't talk about that. It really is sad. I mean, it's I, Tom was such a special, first off, he's like one of the, he is the greatest Spider-Man to me. He's like actually has that youthful energy and the ability physically and emotionally and he's just been incredible and it's been really lucky that we've been able to work with him and I think it's a big loss and it's really too bad. We wanted to give a quick reminder we do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately so if you guys want to follow us on Instagram check it out link in the description there's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there so make sure you guys are following that page but of course other people have turned to other really funny reasons as to why they think that these two should be paired up in the future in movies, even if it's just some friendly co-starring type roles where we get to see Elizabeth Olsen as the Scarlet Witch alongside Peter Parker and Tom Holland as Spider-Man. In general, Tom Holland does have a little bit of a reputation of maybe spoiling some movie things. It kind of became this big meme back when he was first set to appear in Civil War and through Spider-Man Homecoming, where maybe he let a couple of rumors slide. Tom, we've been told that you're, um, you're quite bad at uh, giving away the, the kind of secrets in the films and stuff, so they give you the secret. I'm here to filter yeah. everything exactly why I'm he says before he says it. I have that ability, so I can just go like that. Oh. So no, they, no. Give you, they give you the script really as late as possible, is that right? No, they don't give anyone the script. I did read the script, yeah. Did you? Uh, yes. They, of course, they're not going to give you the script. But <laughs> <laughs> and some fans have even noticed that there's been times where Elizabeth Olsen kind of jumped the gun too and spoiled things outright. But because Elizabeth Olsen had the reputation of keeping things under wraps pretty well, when it did completely get spoiled, nobody paid attention to it and it didn't end up being a big rumor that ended up circulating all around online before Avengers Infinity War did come out. So it makes looking back at this clip even funnier and kind of gives her the same reputation that Tom Holland has for spoiling various movies. Fun. And then Thanos is like, give me the Infinity Gauntlet. And Scarlet Witch is like, I don't think so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell me you did not just ruin the ending of Infinity War. No, because everyone dies. Ugh. Lizzie. <laughs> I thought everyone knew that. But with the brand new Spider-Man movie set to come out later on this year, Spider-Man No Way Home, it is looking like, despite the fact that there may be rumors for a ton of different cast members to be joining up in this project, we may be seeing Elizabeth Olsen make an appearance to some degree in this new film playing the Scarlet Witch or Wanda, as we know that Doctor Strange is set to appear in this movie as well, and the new Doctor Doctor Strange movie, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, is set to co-star Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda Maximoff, so they may be setting up some storyline stuff by the time we see the new movie come out. So we might actually get to see a short section, Elizabeth Olsen and Tom Holland working together in an upcoming movie. Though we don't fully expect this to be a massive role. We are interested to see what they end up choosing to do when Spider-Man No Way Home does end up released later on. Now, obviously, this is just a very friendly situation that got blown up by the community, and it's really funny to look at and just join in on some of the memes. But we wanted to talk to you guys, and what do you think of Elizabeth Olsen and Tom Holland? And would you like to see these two actors work together? It does seem like with their limited amount of interactions and just the general respect that they show for each other's careers, it might be really cool to see what the on-screen chemistry between these two characters could be into the future. We'd love to know what you guys think, so make sure you leave a comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this uploaded every single day of the week. That's it for today, though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye, guys.